Today things are getting technical. Today things are getting dark, but in the best sense of the word. So as many of you know, Pimax has done something pretty unique in the VR world. They built a headset, the Crystal Super, where you can not only swap the lenses, but the entire optical engine. I have here a new version of the highly anticipated micro OLED module. The thing all gamers and especially simmers have been waiting for who are unhappy with the grey haze of LCDs. With the built-in Sony 4K panels, Pimax promises the best picture in VR. Better than the original Crystal, better than Big Screen Beyond 2, better than Vario. Hmm, those are big claims, right? And we are going to use the next minutes to check that word for word. We'll look at the module installation, we'll test the brightness, we'll check the Mura effect, we'll examine the glare behavior of the new lenses and of course we'll look at some games. My name is Thomas and you're watching Voodoo DEVR. Let's have some fun with the video and let's go! Voodoo.de Before we start taking the headset apart, what are we actually buying here? So this module either replaces your complete QLED front or you can of course buy the Crystal Super with OLED right from the start. The QLED version uses glass lenses and local dimming to simulate black levels. As you know, that works only halfway well, right? <laughs> this new model here uses micro OLED, that means Every pixel lights up itself. If a pixel is supposed to be black, it is completely switched off. Perfect black, infinite contrast. The resolution remains insane high at 3840 by 3552 per eye. And the panels come directly from Sony. Yes, the same panels that Apple uses in the Vision Pro. Uh, one important Point up front, my current test unit here is still running at 72 Hz and without eye tracking. In the final version, eye tracking for dynamic four weighted rendering should work and 90 Hz will also be possible. Please keep that in mind. Okay, let's go to the part that many might be a bit afraid of the swap, in case you are switching from another module. Tinkering with such an expensive VR headset might be a bit nerve-wracking for some, right? But the whole thing is really easy. You just have to remove the facial interface first and then unplug the cable. At the bottom of the headset you'll find two small levers that you have to push to the side and then you can pull out the old module. Then you take the OLED module or whatever your module you, you have and simply push it in until the levers click back into place. Put the cable and facial interface back on and that's it. And an interesting detail, the OLED module is much lighter. We save on the backlight and the heavy glass lenses. It's now 120 gram less. This is insane. When you put the two models side by side, you also see the difference in the lenses. The QLED has these massive aspheric glass lenses and the OLED module uses new lenses. Pimax calls this concave view. They look smaller and less bulky. And yes, you actually feel the 120 grams less. The normal Crystal Super is definitely still front heavy with the OLED module, it pulls noticeably less downwards. But let's be honest, it's still a brick compared to the big screen Beyond 2, yes? <laughs> but for Pimax standards, a noticeable improvement. When you use the headset for the first time, you immediately notice the difference when you're looking at a dark scene. With the QLED version, the background was never completely dark rather dark gray because of the backlight bleeding. So you essentially see the background light shimmering through. But here, perfect black. That's how it should be, right? Okay, let's talk about the lenses now. Because that was definitely a concern of mine. 
The glass lenses of the original Crystal Super are really great. I like them a lot. The new lenses are a completely different thing, but surprisingly good regardless. What stands out immediately, the glare is definitely reduced. Anyone who has the big screen beyond one or for example the Valve Index knows this. Bright text on a dark background creates massive light reflections there. But here, almost nothing. The image is extremely clean. I tried to find a blur on the edges, keyword edge to edge clarity. So if I roll my eyes extremely to the side, okay, then yes, maybe a bit more blur than with the glass lenses. But in normal gameplay, when you're just gaming, I absolutely don't notice that. The sweet spot is huge. You put it on and immediately have a sharp image. So you don't have to fiddle around forever until you have the perfect fit. But later with the eye tracking, the headset will optionally even tell you if you are wearing it correct anyway. So let's talk about the field of view. I have to mention again that this version here is not the final version and according to Pimax the field of view will be even larger later on, which I'm really looking forward to because yeah, I really love big field of view. Now there is a strange phenomenon here which I also had with the ultrawide module. If I set my correct IPD, which would be around 59 millimeters, then I have discomfort and a very small field of view. But if I set a value that should actually be wrong for my eyes, for example, even 72 millimeters, then the discomfort is gone. Hmm, <laughs> so Pimax needs to work on the software, I guess, right? But they already know that and they are working on it. Um, I then have a field of view of vertical 88 degrees and horizontal 110 degrees. Be careful, these are my individual values for my eye shape and my head shape. You will have different values. Most of the people have a higher value than me. So that might sound uh, relatively small compared to the ultra wide module where I had vertical 100 degrees and horizontal 134 degrees. But with such OLED displays, is it currently technically not possible to get a larger field of view. For example, see also the Apple Vision Pro or the Samsung Galaxy XR. So I have to say that is really fine. The majority of users will, as I said, have a larger field of view than me anyway, as I always have a smaller field of view than others due to my head and, and eye shape. Also very important for many, the binocular overlap. So the part of the field of view that both eyes see simultaneously. The larger it is, the more comfortable it is. Here I can also give green light. This is absolutely problem free and the 3D impression is very natural. Okay, let's go to the elephant in the room, brightness. <laughs> so OLEDs are fundamentally darker than LCDs, period. <laughs> the Pimax Crystal QLED is a floodlight and almost burns your retina away at full brightness, right? <laughs> the OLED module here is naturally darker accordingly. But is it too dark? Well, I tested various scenarios. Scenario 1, Kajak the Army Rush at night. And yes, you notice it. Everything seems a bit darker. The moon doesn't shine as intensely as usual but the rest looks sensational. I've rarely seen so much sharpness, absolutely amazing. And then another scenario, I also tried uh, the Flight Simulator 2025 in daylight. So everything seems a bit darker here, not as popping bright as with the QLED, but not uncomfortably dark at all, where you feel like you only see half of everything. But in return, the colors. The, for example, when you land or so, the green of the meadows, the blue of the sky, the color saturation of the Sony panels is simply absolutely incredible. I've rarely seen such good colors. And also very important for many, I couldn't find any Mura. 
So Mura is basically the effect as if you were looking through a dirty window, like a veil or a net in the image. This happens when individual pixels have slight difference in color and brightness. But with the Crystal Super OLED, non-existent. The image is a truly clean and freshly washed window, I would say. <laughs> So, if you compare that now, for example, with the Big Screen Beyond 2, the, B the Beyond 2 also uses OLED panels, but the Pimax headset gets more out of the image thanks to the better lenses and the higher brightness. The Beyond is of course more comfortable and much lighter, but when we talk about the visuals, the Crystal QLED definitely wins for me here, by far. So let's get to the conclusion. We have a module or a complete package here that makes your crystal super lighter, minimize glare and delivers perfect colors and black levels as well as a nearly perfect image. But you lose the extreme brightness of the QLED and the superior clarity of the glass lenses at least in the outermost peripheral area. So who should buy it? If you mainly play like bright sims, for example Microsoft Flight Simulator during the day or car racing in sunshine, maybe perhaps buy the QLED or stay at QLED module if it's really important to you that it's super bright. The brightness might bring more realism here than the perfect black level. But if you play space sims, like uh, Elite Dangerous or so, or horror games, or games with a lot of colors, or even watch movies in VR with it, then this module is the holy grail. Visually, there is hardly anything better right now. This is crazy. And the cool thing is that the headset is modular. So if you decide on the OLED package, yeah, you can still buy another module later if you do want to see something really bright or uh, or if you want to have a larger field of view with the ultra wide module. That's really cool, right? So, are you team max brightness or team perfect black and perfect colors? <laughs> Let me know in the comments below. So, what does the whole thing cost? I mean, let's be honest, this is not a, a meta quest. This is a ultra high-end PC VR headset for people that want the best of the best. So, please don't expect like $500. <laughs> so the Crystal Super OLED complete package including the controllers costs 1960 euro or 2199 US dollars plus taxes. The bundle with OLED and the ultra wide module, this is the golden bundle, this costs 2400 euro or 2699 dollars plus tax. And then there is the um, Crystal Super, the QLED version, where you can uh, choose between 50 pixel per degree, 57 pixel per degree, or ultra wide. That costs you 1,588 euro or 1,735 dollars. So now, if you use my link in the description, you get free shipping and 25 dollars off the QLED module and the Super bundle. And on the QLED models you even get a 10% discount, free shipping and other benefits in the Black Friday sale. And you can go via my link and use the coupon code VoodooDE10. And after that you still get 3% discount. So all links are in the description or conveniently via my homepage VoodooDE-VR.com. Feel free to check out my full review of the Pimax Crystal Super as well, which you can find linked in the end screen. Thank you for watching, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, hit the bell and see you next time in virtual reality. See ya!